Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at phone mining and how to get that set up. And we're going to be doing Varus Coin. Of course, there's other algorithms and coins you can mine on mobile, but I'll be making that in a separate video. But for today's video, we're going to be focusing on Varus Coin and the Varus algorithm. But as you see, I have mining set up on my tablet here. As you see, it's not a phone. I normally do mine on phones as well, but the phone I usually mine on, uh, I'm recording with right now. So we're just going to be doing the tutorial here on the tablet. It's pretty much the same for all the Android-based operating systems. Mine is a Android 9, I believe. I'll have to double check on that. But I know my phone is about Android 9, and I think this tablet is as well. I'll be making a separate video on how to mine with Android like 7 and below or 8 and below. So if you do have an older Android yourself, you can still go ahead and mine. So this may be a new concept to some of you guys that are watching. And yes, you are able to mine on mobile devices. It, currently, it is profitable for some devices, not all mobile devices. I don't even really know how if this tablet is profitable. It's kind of hard to calculate uh, with the mobile miners and stuff. I haven't really found like a calculator or something of the sort to help me out with figuring out the profitability. I just know with mobile mining, it doesn't take obviously as much wattage as uh, graphics card mining or CPU mining. Uh, when you're mining with mobile, it's maybe doing like 30 watts, 60 watts at max, 80 watts, depending on the type of phone. I know there are some heavy end phones like gaming phones and stuff that you could possibly use. But for today's video, we're focusing on just your standard tablet and your standard cell phone. This tutorial I am doing on a tablet, but it will work on a cell phone in the same manner. I've watched some other videos on YouTube and they say to download the app on your computer, then transfer it over to your tablet and all this. But I'm going to show you how to do everything right on the device that you do want to mine with. So first things first is grab the device that you want to mine with. Either it be an Android phone, Android tablet, or something Android based. You can go ahead and follow along and see if this tutorial works for you. Like I said, in the coming weeks I will be putting out other tutorials for other mobile devices. And I kind of been away just because there hasn't been much content really to post and upload for mining uh, end of things. But lately, uh, phone mining has come back to life out of nowhere. So it's mainly due with Varus Coin and the recent updates it's had. It's kind of made it profitable and eventually they're going to be doing merge mining with mobile devices. So the next few videos will probably be based on mobile mining because that's the current thing going on and that's like what's new in the mining world. There is some like new things going on with GPU mining, but nothing like too crazy where I need to make a video on. Just a few new algorithms here and there, but nothing crazy profitable or anything. Sorry for the long intro. I just kind of wanted to go over everything and just kind of give you guys an update of where everything's at here. But let's get right into the tutorial here of how to set up uh, mining for a mobile device. So if you do want to get some more information on the Varus Coin project and everything about it, you can check out their website here. It's varus.io. I'll post a link in the description so you can go ahead and check that out for yourself. But this is where you're going to be downloading the miner and everything and the wallet and stuff. So first things first is you want to get a wallet set up for Varus Coin. So if you hit this little three menu, I'm kind of doing the recording. So you hit the three menu bar there and you click economy. And that should bring you to another page here once it loads up. And it's going to show you all the information about the staking, the mining, and how many mobile devices. You want to scroll down a little bit to participate in the network economy. And you want to click start mining. And it's going to open another window here. So once you make it to this page here under the economy, you want to scroll down a little bit and keep scrolling until you see mining software. And then go down to mobile here. And this is going to be your miner and everything. But before you do that, you just want to close out the browser you want to go to whatever app store so for mine it is the Google Play Store so we'll let that load up and you want to download the Varus mobile app here and that will give you the wallet so you just want to search for Varus mobile and as you see you'll be at the top one here Varus mobile and that's going to be your wallet and it's right from the Varus mobile software like the developers and everything I'm trying to get a good picture here but as you see here's all the screenshots 
It's just your standard wallet. I just have it set up on my iPhone as my main wallet. You can set it up, you just need to set it up on one device. So you can set it up on this mining device, or you can set it up on your main like mobile device, or you can set it up on a computer if you want to set up a wallet for Varus that way too. But once you download the app, it will run through setup to set up your wallet just like a normal wallet would. You set your password, you do uh, your keys and everything, and then it should bring you to this screen here. And all you would do is click Varus, and then you click receive, and they'll give you your address. So if you need any, any more information on that, uh, you can Google it. It's pretty easy and straightforward. It's like most uh, wallets. But once you have that set up and once you have your wallet address, you want to come back to the Varus website. And then once you're over here, you want to go to Varus Miner and click download here. And that should open a GitHub page here. It might be a little smaller on your screen, obviously, because I'm using a tablet. But you're going to look for the releases tab. Yours might be at the very bottom here. So if you keep scrolling down, depending on the size of your screen, you might see the releases at the bottom. But if you have a tablet or something like a bigger screen or even a phone with a bigger screen, you might see the releases over here. So all you do is click releases. Sorry for any background noise, I'm kind of recording this in my living room, so there's traffic and such. But all you want to do is look for the latest release and look for the .zip one. And all you do is click it, and it should automatically start downloading. I've already downloaded it, so it says, do you want to download again for you? It should just say, start download. And it might say that like it's uh, a security risk and stuff, and you have to allow unknown sources. All you want to do is go into your settings. And then you should be able to go to developer settings and then it should allow you to uh, select unknown sources if you don't have it already set up before you download this file it should come up with a screen it should automatically take you to the settings to uh, allow unknown sources if you need any help with that just post a comment in the description but once you have it downloaded as you see here i'll show you mine so you want to click on it right here so the zip file and then you're going to see version 3.4.1 or whatever version you have. And then you're going to click on that. And then what you want to do is click this little drop down. And then you click extract to and then extract it to wherever you want. And then you want to go into the folder and install the APK. So once you have it extracted, so once you extract the zip, it should be up top here. So it should say 3.4.1 or whatever version. You just want to click onto that and it should bring you into the folder here and it should say app.apk all you want to do is click on that um, so and then you just click continue and then all you do is click install and it should start installing if the unknown sources thing didn't come up when you download the file it might come up now to allow unknown unknown sources to install so either way it should come up with an unknown sources to allow you to enable it so you can go ahead and install it so once you do have it installed you can just close that out and it should pop up with versus miner here and it should be uh, under your apps or on your home screen however you have it set up but once you click it it should load up here and yours might not have the check mark or anything like that because it might say like edit settings or something like that so once you do start it up you want to click the add profile or add settings or something like that so once you have it opened up mine's already set up with a profile yours might say add profile edit profile or edit minor or something like that all you want to do is click that button and it should take you to like a setting screen where you can set up your miner I already have mine set up so all I would do is click mining at the bottom here and then I'm just going to click settings and it should bring you to a screen like this when you're adding your first settings or adding your profile whatever you want to call it so as you see up top here it says setting name you just want to leave that as default miner name you can name that to whatever you want your mining name to be and CPU is depending how many cores obviously you have with your uh, mobile device. Mine's an octa core, so I have eight cores. And then next, you want to take your wallet address from Varus Mobile there, the app that we downloaded, and copy it over to here, or type it in however you have it set up. But you just want to make sure you have a Varus Coin wallet address right where it says wallet address. And for the stratum, you want to leave it as pool.varus.io. Uh, colon 9998 for the port it'll say it down here too it's kind of a list so it has a bunch of default ones but you want to make sure yours has the 9998 one as that's the mobile port 
And after that, you're all ready to go. And all you do is click the little save button down in the bottom right hand corner. And then you should be able to go ahead and start your miner just like this. So all you do is click start. It'll pop up with, do you want to proceed? Just because of like the fees, it's just going to tell you about the mining process. You click OK. And then you're up in mining. And this is mining directly to the Varus coin pool. So I can show you how to look up your address on there. But as you see, depending on your mobile device is going to correspond with the hash rate, obviously. So as you see, it gives you all your specs, your temperature, your device, the battery, if it's discharging or charging. So it goes through and just like a normal miner, so you can leave it here and let it do its thing. I recommend having some sort of fan underneath of it or blowing on it just to keep a little bit cool, just kind of like a GPU rig, if you will. But these ones are a lot more efficient, obviously. They're not going to produce as much heat or anything. And they're a lot more easier to set up. You can just leave them on a table or on a laptop cooler or something of the sort. But yeah, once you get up and running with some accepted shares, you want to go over to the Varus Pool uh, website to check out what your mining stats are and everything. I can show you how to do that. So with my miner, my tablet miner going here, I have my iPhone, which is my main phone. You want to come over to the Varus Pool website, which is pool.varus.io right there. And it should load up with the screen, the home screen here. You want to go to the top there, try to focus, see if it will, and click worker stats at the top there on the top bar. So we'll let it load that there. There we go. And once it loads up, it'll give you a screen with all the current workers. You can click on different wallets to see what everyone on the pool is doing and like what their power is and everything. But all you do is go to minor lookup at the top right hand of the screen here. And you can do this on the computer also. And all you do is type in your wallet address and click look up. And it should bring you to a stat screen here as we see. I just got mine booted back up but as you see I already have some paid out from mining in the previous days kind of testing this. 0 0.03 I have paid out which is just a few cents in Varus coin. But as you see, it gives you all your stats just like a normal pool. You have your miners all down down there, and you can once you get multiple, they'll be all across the bottom there. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward, just like normal GPU mining, except you're using a mobile device. You set up your mining software, and you just come to the pool and check it out, and you're good to go. Hopefully this tutorial helped you guys. I wanted to kind of screen record on my tablet and everything. But I figured it might really lag once I start the mining and everything. I figured this way might be a little easier. Hopefully you're able to see everything and this tutorial did help you. Like I said, I will be coming out with more tutorials for mobile devices, for older devices, for different coins and different algorithms and stuff. So make sure that subscribe button to stay tuned for when those videos drop. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy, make sure that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you're enjoying my content. But I hope you all have an amazing day, and this is Krebsy Crypto, signing out.